Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at the X2 Scorpio, which is this lovely ship right here. So this is a small base only fighter armed with four Gatling guns and primarily powered by batteries. It's not intended to fight large ships or heavily armed base, it's more of a scout ship to make sure you're not going to face certain doom when you bring over your proper ship. So pressing F10 and finding the Scorpio in the spawn menu, if I can spell it correctly, there we go. The X2 Scorpio is 735 small blocks, requiring the decorative block number 2 DLC pack. And that is for the transparent LCD screens that you can see all the way around the ship in that yellow glowing colour. So we're going to start by taking a look around the outside, then we're going to fly it around, shoot a few things up, and that'll do. So at the very front, we have got a camera which allows you to precisely aim those four Gatling guns to make sure you can hit your target before they destroy you. Got the spotlight underneath there to make sure you can light up the darkness, especially if the pesky enemies are hiding on a asteroid. And of course, the four Gatling guns, which do do a lot of damage, provided you can get that sustained fire on the target. Behind that, we've got ourselves a fighter cockpit, which has been surrounded by some grey and white carbon fibre blocks. And as we move around the side, we can see the side of our Gatling gun has been covered up by a sound block just to hide that small connection point to make the overall design a lot more neater. As we move along, we can see our ion thrusters all the way around, as well as some yellow glowing lights, which we can turn off if you don't like it. So on the side, this is one of our features, LCD screens with yellow all over them, which is just there to hide up the ion thrusters that sit on the side. We can switch off those screens if you want to, or even change the colour to whatever you fancy. Above that, we can see the tops of our batteries, and below that, we can see the bottoms of our landing gear. And moving all the way along, we can see a large ion thruster sitting there, as well as two smaller ones for our left and our right. And as we move all the way around to the back, this is our main thrust. One large ion thruster and eight small ion thrusters to push you around at some good speeds. And as we move down and underneath the ship, we've got some more lovely block works just covering up some of the more vulnerable parts on this ship. And a connector, a very important thing on this ship, because we're primarily powered by batteries, we're going to need to make sure this is connected up to a ship or a base to keep them charging up. Otherwise, you could be in a spot of trouble if you try to engage in combat with this with low batteries. Moving along towards the front of the ship, we've got some more LCD screens there and some more ion thrusters as well as some cargo containers for you to store a few bits and bobs in, such as ammunition for the guns. Coming all the way up and above, there's the top of our cockpit and we can see all the nice block works just covering it up on the left and the right. Then towards the middle, we've got some more ion thrusters, more LCD screens and the top of our battery. And that's about it. It's a very nice simple ship. Very easy to build since it's a small block ship. Shouldn't be too hard to do, you just have to make sure you can build those thruster components once you hit space, and this can be built. So getting into my character, we've got a couple of options to play around with. So number one is our Gatling guns. We're just going to press it, and we're going to fire them like so. Number two is to turn off all our iron thrusters around the ship, just to save our power while we're recharging. Number three is to view that camera at the dead front, so we can then aim our Gatling guns all nice and proper. Number five is to lock or unlock the landing gear on this. Because we have a connector, we want to avoid pressing P, so that's a very useful button to have. Number seven is for our antenna, which is hidden away on this ship. Number eight is to turn off all the LCD screens around. There we are, we can get a much better view of where they are. And then back on. And number nine, if I come down and underneath, you'll be able to see this a bit better. We can just turn them off if we wanted to. So if we don't want that yellow colour, we can come and find the LCD screens like so and just go and change their colour to say maybe a green. To even go for, ooh, that's a very spicy colour. Let's go for a bit of a pink in there like that. That'll do nicely. Nice and pink. Then we just need to change the interior lights on there. So we come and find our lights. There they are. Just go and do the same. Just drop that back down there. There we are. We've now got a pink glowing Scorpio fighter. So now it's time for a quick thruster test, then we can shoot up a base, maybe put it into a little bit of combat with a fairly armed ship. 
So going forwards, we've got a nice amount of speed. Stopping as well is pretty decent, but a bit lacklustre. But then again, for such a small ship, you don't expect to have that many thrusters in all directions. Going left and going right were much slower than backwards and forwards, but still serviceable. Then going down and going up. Down is much slower, going up is very, very fast, which is nice. It allows you to pull away from a station without delay. So now what we're going to do is just fly around and start shooting stuff. So we're going to do a quick little drive-by there. There we go. Done a nice bit of damage on there. Just a bit of block work has been destroyed, but we can now come around to here and start shooting it some more. We could use our camera at the front there and zoom in on the more vulnerable parts, like that container over there. I mean, hydrogen tank even. I'm going to make that explode. There we go. That should do a nice bit of damage to that station. Let me just fly around here and start shooting into their living quarters. So there is that. But now, but now we need to spawn in a fairly armed ship for this to shoot at. So I'm just going to hide it behind here. I think that'll do quite nicely. And then I'm going to get out and spawn the ship on... Well, around here, and hopefully it won't start blasting it. So what is a small ship for this Scorpio to fight? I could use one of my own ships. I think that was a funny little ship I built with transforming wings. It crashed horribly on its first test flight. Hmm. I mean, the Albatross could be used again, but that was a bit overkill. The Aggressor class battleship could also be good. Ah, but we have this. That should be okay. I think that has a few turrets on it. So here we are. What does this ship have? Back. Oh, I see interior turrets on it. That'll do very nice. It's a bit big, maybe a bit big for that small fighter to engage with, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So while that's loading in, I'm just going to make myself untargetable, invulnerable, and all that. Have I done a showcase on this? I'm pretty sure I did. I think it's the one with the fancy lines in the middle. Yes, it is. So now I just need to find a access panel that'll do nicely and just give everything to the pirates. It's probably going to start shooting up the base over there. Yes, it, oh god, it's got rockets on it. I did not think about that. But now I'm going to get into this. We're going to go into third person and try and fly away. I don't think this has any kind of decoys on it. Ooh, the frame rate is tanking a bit, but we can start pummeling it. Let's get into that camera, try and remove one of the rocket turrets. There we are, my aim is not the best. This thing is gliding quite a lot. Let's get rid of you. You are a problem. There we are, that's gone. That's gone. Just need to get rid of some more of their guns, that's that. I think they are opening firing on us. Yes, they are. The small little interior turrets on the side are trying to go for us, but we are very slowly disabling it because it's distracted by the station. So that is it for the X2 Scorpio. It's a lovely small scout fighter, is what I want to call it. It's quite useful against similar size ship but doesn't stand a chance against a large battleship or a heavily armed base. But it's still cheap to build, easy to mass produce on your large bases and all that, and send to their demise against the evil pirates. So it'll be in the description below if you do want to download and play around with it yourself, I highly recommend you do. And I'll be back with another showcase video some point soon. Bye bye.